Hi guys, I'm back with uh, a very short video. I don't know if it's exactly a review, uh, but it will be about OP03 operational amplifiers uh, that I got uh, from Ali. Uh, these are single operational amplifiers made from discrete uh, elements. So these are not duals, these are not your standard common uh, operation amplifiers that you would uh, replace in uh, audio path uh, in your audio devices. Uh, these were recommended uh, to me by a few of you guys uh, as uh, replacements for OP07 precision operational amplifier that's uh, usually uh, used in DC servers. And these were recommended as a replacement for OP07 uh, used precisely in uh, Burmeister 933 clone. Um, why? Because uh, as far as I know, uh, the OP07 uh, in uh, Burmeister doesn't work as a DC servo. Uh, it's a current feedback uh, circuit. So it makes a little sense that this particular implementation would have some kind of influence on the final sound quality. Why? Uh, because, uh, yes, it's not in a direct, direct audio path, but uh, by being in a feedback, uh, it will impact uh, the way the amplifier works a little. So, I got them, I burned them in uh, for like, I don't know, a week or something like that. I've just left them playing uh, in the amplifier because I was off uh, for a few days. Uh, and uh, I'm back. I've done a listening test uh, with them and with uh, zero sevens. Um, everything was uh, done uh, in Burmeister 933. And I have to say that I'm puzzled. Uh, why? Because it does affect the sound, uh, but uh, in a very, very small way. And in a, I mean, uh, strange is not the right word. Uh, okay, so let's get uh, straight to the details. Uh, I had to swap the op amps like 10 times to confirm what I'm hearing because the effect is very subtle. Uh, what's changing? Uh, well, the timbre and the tonality are staying the same. Uh, what's changing is uh, you get a very, very uh, little amount of some additional detail. Uh, but it's uh, very hard to be sure about that. But one thing that I am sure about is that uh, it adds some three dimensionality to the imaging and scene. Uh, it's uh, it's like the Bullmeister clone is uh, pretty good with imaging and holography of the sound, but with these, you can hear like. Uh, the left and right panning stays the same, okay? Because it was good from the beginning. Uh, the depth information was there too, and it was good. But right now, you can hear like it's even better. Also, the height information. So it doesn't change the tone, it doesn't change the timbre, it doesn't change the bass, the treble, etc. It adds some, some 3D information. So that's a very interesting effect. I think... It also makes the sound a little bit smoother, a little bit more musical. Uh, but that's tiny effect. I mean, I have them now, so I'll be checking them with uh, other amplifiers that are also using uh, OP07 uh, for the changes in the sound, because why not? Uh, one thing you have to remember if you'll be buying them, these are huge. Okay, so let's take a look. We have 28.6 millimeters here. In And we have, uh, here we have like uh, 37 millimeters and that's a lot. These are very high. And here we have 12.2 millimeters. So, as I said, these are huge. These are by far the tallest operational amplifiers I got. Uh, I'll post the link in the description 
I don't remember how much uh, were these. Uh, let me check. Okay, so these were fifteen dollars each. Uh, is it expensive or is it cheap? I mean, it's not really expensive, but on the other hand, I'm not sure if the effect uh, is uh, worth the price. Because uh, uh, in total, we're speaking about thirty dollars, and it's still not a big amount of money. But the clone was also cheap. Uh, so now I have them. I'll try them with other devices uh, because why not? Uh, they look nice. Uh, you can actually see that these are handmade by the solder quality. So these are not machine uh, made. Uh, okay, so that's it about the modules. Uh, I'll just give you a quick info how to replace them in uh, my store if you buying if you would be buying them. Uh, so let me pause my video for a second. Okay, so the original OP07 is here and here. You need to take them out. It's quite easy. You can use your hands like that, and you need to take notice on the cutout here in the deep socket because it it's a mark for orientation of the operational amplifier and both ampli uh, both operational amplifiers for both channels are, f are facing this way uh, it's not a symmetrical design they are both facing the same way so when you try to place that one make the notch here make the cutout here like that you would realize that it may be not the best idea because it's touching the ceramic resistor here. But if you smartly use deep socket as an extender like that, you can place this operation amplifier like that with no problem. And that's it. You have to do the same on the other side as well remembering that here you have to have the notch also facing left when looking from the front of the amplifier so both of them need to be facing this way like that and that's it very simple mode it takes literally just a couple of seconds to do uh, if you have them and I know a few of them, I feel, so a few of you already has them. Uh, please share your thoughts on it. If you'll buy them and if you'll use them with uh, Bullmeister, also please comment this video uh, because I'm very curious what will you think about the change in sound. It's very subtle, it's very subtle, but it's here. Okay, so the links will be in the description. Uh, I don't think I'll be uh, posting the whole chain description because that's my usual, usual chain and this was not exactly the test of this uh, amplifier, it's uh, already done, so take a look at the video. If you have any other questions, if I forgot about anything, if you have noticed anything here, just give me a shout in the comments. And that's it. Oh. <laughs> Have a nice day uh, and see you next time. Bye, guys.